Pokemon Sword and Shield has been out for a little while now. And one of the main complaints that I keep hearing about it is that, like most of my exes, it's just a little too easy. The newer Pokemon games seem to be focusing more on having fun and building a team of Pokemon and interacting with them in interesting and sometimes downright adorable ways. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but if you're like me and you really crave a satisfying battle where you have to use your wits to win, you may just be feeling a little bit underwhelmed. Maybe it's even so boring that you might have even learned TM24. <laughs> Get it? It's a it's a snore joke, like because the game is, you know, like so boring that it it's making you sleep and like when when you sleep, you, you snore sometimes and it, whatever. You guys wouldn't know good comedy if it bit you in the end. Luckily, Sword and Shield has a small setting you can choose to make it just a little bit more difficult than normal. To find this option, simply press X to open up your menu and choose Options. From there, select the third option, which is called Battle Style. You'll see two options, Switch and Set. Basically, the Battle Style option will enable or disable the option during trainer battles, which gives you the ability to switch your Pokemon out every time you knock out an opponent's Pokemon. For example, on Switch mode, the game will let you know that your opponent is about to send out a specific Pokemon so you can be sure to send one out with a type and moveset that is advantageous to you. Whereas in Set mode, the game does not give you this option, potentially giving your opponent the upper hand in certain battles, which adds that little bit of needed challenge to the game. Now, this setting is actually very far from new. It's been included in most of the older Pokemon games, but it is still important, and I know there are a lot of people out there who didn't know that it is an option during non-competitive play. Plus, the newer generations have an added challenge with this, since you're not always guaranteed a successful switch out during trainer battles. So, your opponent may send out a Pokemon that is harmful to the one you've got out, and you may not even be able to successfully switch out the Pokemon that you have to something more ideal. And even if you are able to switch that out, you're still losing an entire turn and you're having to cause one of your Pokemon to take damage for this. So while this doesn't necessarily turn every single regular trainer battle into a major Elite Four level struggle, changing this setting alone has given the game some extra challenge that I've desired while still keeping things relatively casual and laid back. So, if you're looking to make the game just a little bit more challenging, which, let's be honest, you probably are if you're watching this video, then I highly recommend you check out that setting on the game if you haven't already. And, if you've made it through all this video, I suggest that you go follow my Twitch livestream where I livestream regularly and play Pokemon and a lot of other games. Also, be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube and join my Discord server, and check me out on all the major social media platforms. Links are in the description. That's all for now, folks. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a nice day and goodbye.